why good afternoon good morning whatever time it is in your neck of the woods welcome back to another episode of the truth is my name is peyton 3.0 okay the edm and drum set vocalist zombie supreme today we're not talking about edm this of course is about the truth is talking about subjects that are rarely talked about or in everyday conversations that i need to bring up okay if you like what you're here today, please hit the like button, share with your friends, comment. Let's get right on to it. This is Peyton 3.0's The Truth Is. All right, all right, all right. This episode is called There Are No More Innovators in the music scene right now. You basically talking about the US market, that is, United States at least. I can't speak for the other market, okay? We're talking about the US market predominantly right now, with a few exceptions. And I'm mainly talking about the producers of the singer or vocalist's records, the producers. The question is, where are the Timberlands? Where are the people like the Pharrells, Static Majors, Dark Child? They're still out there producing records, but they're not like the front running producers that a lot of these artists that you see that are, that are popping or on are being produced by, you know? A lot of, a lot of what's going on, and I realized this during the 2010s, um, where a lot of stuff that we heard was not innovative at all. You might've got zero, zero, zero from 1% of innovation, but mostly like that innovation died within the early 2010, uh, 2000s. The 2010s rolled around and, and the kind of same thing is happening right now in the 2020s, where um, a lot of stuff, people are just going back to what has already been done. They're going back to eras like the 80s and the 90s, um, 70s, whatever, big band, the big band, South Coast right now, there people like people like Megan Trainer. Um, who else did it? A couple artists did it. Um, Sean Kingston did it, you know, with Beautiful Girls. Um, yeah, but the point is, is that there's people are just going back to previous things that already done, um, previous decades, but most people aren't innovating and. You know, that's the huge problem. I understand that like there obviously are new generations that come up that haven't heard the sound before, but we're on the World Wide Web and those records that were from the past are on the website with the right promotion for record companies. People can discover artists that have already done it and most likely they've done it way better. Okay, because let's be honest, some people be recreating, re recreating these classic records. Some of these, especially some of these rap artists or so-called rappers, be taking some of these classic records and doing what God knows what. It's like, how did you even get the rights to that kind of record? Obviously, the artist that did the record didn't own it, so the record company that owned it, the publishing, whatever, sold, and the masters probably sold sold them out. All right. And that's how you get these debauchery of these sample records for lackluster artists, okay? But then you have people going back to the retro genres. Like, I, I enjoy the Dua Lipa, right? I enjoy the Dua Lipa retro. I enjoy the Ava Max. Um, I enjoy, I enjoy, and actually Ava Max is kind of innovative the way she did it. But still, I enjoy some of these artists that have gone back who've done it well, who've done it well. But where are the innovators? When I was coming up, you know, in the mid, in like the 90s and two, 2000s, you were getting all these innovators, Missy Elliott, Timber, Timberland. You were getting Dark Child, Static Major. Um, Pharrell, we still doing a thing. Pharrell put his thing down on that Ariana, Ariana album, Sweetener, which is still my favorite album from her just because of Pharrell's production. Um, but these kind of producers are few far in between and the sounds that are quote unquote, not retro or whatever, or from past decades, 
it's just these homogenized trap kind of sounds going around and it's kind of crazy how trap somehow is still going it's like trap has been going since freaking the 2010s and somehow it's still popular in hip-hop can somebody invent another sound please okay can somebody do something else it is 2023 what is going on okay and the rap music genre which is the biggest genre now considered pop music because supposedly pop music is certainly defined as whatever is popular but honestly pop music actually has a sound okay pop music is different from popular music right there's a difference between the two so let's not get them mixed up um but the, the the rap music they're still using that trap beat it's like honey the decade has passed and you guys are still doing with that and then people are just doing ret retro things where are the innovators we don't need just the uh, one or two or three we need a little more innovation from producers and things in the background i know people are just trying to sell the records and and the music industry has a quota it's, it's a business but honey there were innovators taking chances back then and it was the music industry what's going on right now what's going on right now okay what's going on because i find myself going back to artists that have already did sounds better And there's an artist, one or two, that may be in the mainstream, that I think did a really good job on their record, and I'm I'm listening to them. But that's few, far in between. Most records, I'm not even that excited about, like I used to be. And I'm an artist who loves music. Mwah. When everything come, becomes just about sales and marketing, we have a problem. And it's been kind of varying that way for a while, but we need to take it back to like artistic between the artists and the producers. We need our Timberlands, we need our Dark Childs. We need people like them within a newer generation Getting, getting shiny coming up there are people like them but they're not getting they're not getting any shine they're not getting any push to work with with these mainstream artists because the industry is keeping those pe kind of people people with creation away and hiring these what they would call what's what's a hit today right so things are getting getting less risk risque Things are getting less um, creative and they're just getting more homogenized and what's going to stream records and what's going to sell records, what's going to get the most streams, whatever, whatnot, most listens. It's going to be easier, what's, what's more familiar. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I kind of do know, but I don't know. You tell me. Right? So anyway, um, that's my rant on there are basically no more innovators. There's only few far in between, but for the most part, they just, they're not coming around enough. You know what I'm saying? The music industry has a huge problem. And I don't think it's going to be fixed anytime soon. So thank you. This has been it. This has been this episode of The Truth Is. My name is Peyton 3.0, the EDM and drum set vocalist, Zombie Supreme. And if you want a little more innovation in the music, then if you're an electronic dance music listener, part of the fam, hashtag Plur, P-L-U-R, okay? Peace, love, unity, and respect. Then these social medias are for you. If you're not in the dance music, electronic dance music community, but you enjoyed this video and you want more like it, 
subscribe like comment share with your friends who may like this who may agree let's have a comment in the comment section what your feelings are on the current music scene as a listener as a person who is a musician yourself you're an artist let's have a discussion for those who are into electronic dance music get three free unreleased songs from me by going to the bit.ly link or give you my website this is the way i communicate with you without any interference from social media conglomerates and if the channel gets shut down or somehow they die or whatever my email list will be there to communicate with you directly there will be no robot algorithms or whatever to stop me from reaching as long as i follow the rules of the email my emails always get through to communicate whether it's about my albums coming out whether it's about merchandise surveys something fan cl clubs or whatever patreons i don't know to involve you in the experience as well artwork whatever get on the email list and get three free unreleased songs from me the soundcloud only has one song that's available and that's all there will be for the time being and this this one is more for like an electro house song which I should video to this, that song called Turn Up. Okay, but anyway, thank you so much. Click on the playlist for the rest of the Truth Is series, videos in this series, and I'll see you on the next episode of The Truth Is. Bye-bye.